Edward really is right. It's him, but at, like you combine more jerk formula inside of him. I don't know how to explain it. But he just basically explained himself. It's 10 times 20. Of course. Now! It's time to go and find out more about what happened in Gord Lake. Alright. They just said they just sent Maya after um some complicated thing. Oh, Von Karma! This asshole. Anyway. Robert Hammond, the victim. Alright. Miles' father. Alright. Maya! Hey! I think it's you! Oh, I didn't not I was not prepared. My voice just suddenly decided to be on a on a rebellious face. Okay. I'm glad Mr. Ed Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why did you do that anyway? I don't know. I... I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer of my sister was. I'm sorry. Well... You did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Okay. Wait, she's not... Right, she's not... Pistol, aren't they? Yes, the prince is right here. They must have gotten on there sometime other than the shooting. Wait, really? Shooting is his left hand after all. The marking on this bullet and <coughs> the barrel of the pistol match. Hey, I'm surprised you remember that. How could I forget after Von Karma erupting in so much? the big ballistic markings. I'm not really sure. I want to see Goy too. If he really exists. Well, I say a photograph is pretty good proof. Once this trial is over, let's get some fishing poles and go down to the lake. Even if there's a monster in that lake, fishing poles sound like a bad idea. I'm a lawyer. But the spear mediums, well... I don't know if you're close. I mean, at least some people recognize you. These are medium training clothes. I wonder if I'll ever be a proper medium. I'm sorry, Maya. Now that I've shown her the picture, I'm not so sure I was the right... Oh, yeah. Remember, he is the wrong thing. Alright, now let's show her the update photo. Isn't that the alarm photo Lola was talking about? Uh huh? Um, uh, It's nice and big, but you can't really see the faces of any clearer, can you? Sorry, question. Have you been questioning yet? No, not yet. That the gumshoe was here just now. He says, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go out to question me. <sighs> oh, he wanted me to get bail money ready. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! Almost dropped the water. Almost dropped the cap of my bottle. You can wait for me, okay? Huh? 
How much? How much? I'm betting... I know they're gonna probably say in dollars, but... I wanted to convert it into yen. One point four million yen for ten ten thousand dollars? Hey, what about a thousand dollars? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped by training. She sounds like she really did do her. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any more clothes in the low barrier. I wonder if I've ever seen my sister again. Nobody around. Right. I have to get my out of that detention cell soon. Eh. No, it's probably gonna be the same as always. Go to Grossberg. Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess I can. Come back tomorrow if I need it. Yeah, probably not. Uh... Oh. Let's see if Gumshoe is there. That the Gumshoe is not here. I have other more than a gift to this. Give accent to this. What voice should I give this one? Alright, Gumshoe's at the scene again. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? It's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet you want to help them build again, build the case against Edgeworth. Right. Time to find more clues at the lake. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe was here today. Okay, nothing new. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. I'm not paying through the nose on the probably off paying through the nose on the day with the lovely fiance. Oh! Test of the woods. Oh! 
Oh, there you go. Oh, Gumshoe was here. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. Trials today. Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Um, you did say Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, though. Er, 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 thanks! You heard two good shots, right? Wait, look at the court record. Punch this, the burning weapon was fired three times. What? How's that possible? Where. Is there the. Where. Where was the third shot fired? The one there. Maybe it was a practice shot or something. Long Karma's playing for tomorrow. Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh. Alright, he said something about that trial today. Oh boy. And here I thought we won't see him stream. I don't know why, but maybe because of the cold air, maybe because like the air in me right now is cold and dry. That my mouth is drying up quick. Anyway, there were two witnesses. Oh, that's it. I was wondering who was the other witness left. Or who was it? Sorry, pal. Unless I like. Right. Alright, I want to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. You said Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's no but there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. Him becoming prosecutor. It all started with it. DL6, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. He still see in his eyes. I 
want to talk to you about my thing. Huh? It's not Billy. That's strange. I told to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. Man. I don't know what, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. You're getting dragged out by Beth the Bullets. Oh, fuck. I'll be honest with you. I shed a tear too. Zedra is so moved and so is the trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edward? I was really grateful for her, what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get her. I'll get her part of my and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering. How much is Bell going to be? Don't worry about that. Is Edward is posting the whole now. What? Edward? Didn't I tell you? I'm grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up today, okay? We can get Edward to pay this month's in two. Don't push it, Phoenix. He probably won't. Before we go check my let's head to the boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too. Where is it? Or is it? Or is it? Hey Nick, you finally came! You just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Realize, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what? They were like, okay. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bell. Thank Edward. Huh? He pulls a bell for you. Say he was grateful for what you did. So Edward did that? I have to make it up to him. We got to win this case, Nick. Alright. What do you think we should do next? I have Lucky and Clues apartment. We go to the park and look for Gordon. Kidding. So, if there are any clues out there, the park is as good as any. The park is good as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure! Anything late? No, I didn't notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm, and they keep it very clean. I mean, I meant have you noticed anything about the case? Not much more than that, though. It's really so upset, though. Yeah. Very well. I'm going to go to the law office. Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Have yourself at the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Misbehaving is much more fun. <laughs> oh. That's right. It's not gonna be so much fun when Edward refuses to pay you bail again. Right. I'll be eight. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, what about Spoke Oh no. Oh! Oh, that's just impressed me. Let's come back later. Guess so. There we go. Oh, we just go to. The okay. Let's just go to the lake. There aren't many cops around here today, aren't there? Probably back at the precinct working up, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, Slota. Y'all really did today. What do we do now? Nah. 
self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being witness is a mighty big responsibility. I just went up there and started grabbing and getting a bolt of that king's mind. Hold on. So you see, I want to make it up to you. Make it up. First, talk about the bolt. Yep. But that's your deposition. Of Gordy, and it turns out like this enlargement did. Y'all crazy? A blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story. I need a picture that screams, I am Gordy. Hear me wrong. I can't turn something like this to the paper. What kind of fool do y'all think I am? What kind of fool that would turn the Gordy picture in as evidence of her trial? It's a bunch of clean shit sauce. Y'all just be sure y'all don't sneeze or lie when you're in my part of the place. Right. Looks like a bitch. I'm glad I did look that line. Oh shit. We didn't have that as a for me in prison now. Or worse. Never a lack of drama when you're on the case, is there, Nick? Well, you're always on the verge of horrible failings like this. Um. Careful for the stress sent you an early break. Such a cheerful message of support. What do you think of the trial? To be honest, I've, I was doing it half. Just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't, I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. I sure know that now. We'll find you the next time I win some murder. Right! Maybe the first time we win some murder. What about Gordy? Oh, she's triggered. Well, the way I figured, the trial only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I got my Susan Foles and Rocket style. Alright, Lola, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer. Alright. Hold up. What do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now, we're getting to a hard thing. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. My friend. Honestly, part of me just wants a framer of her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hey, I see you doing fine. How unsophisticated these son of barks are. I feel like I could find several better southern folks. 
It's written all over your face. Let me tell you what, Ghost Sutherland is a way more sophisticated thing than you. I'm just the exception, okay? But what will it be? You gonna deal or not? What should we do, Nick? Off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. It's good. Why do you need this information about Gordy? Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 Gordy? But Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. That bringing proof that shows you don't. Watch from the car, okay? See something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right, see you later. Well, I say we. I say we blackmail. Find something useful information that could blackmail it. That's an next. Okay, Nick. Let's get hunting. Uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean Gordy. I sure I do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster miss specialist. Oh. Huh. I was supposed to head to the detention center, but oh well. What's that? It's still Samurai Nick! Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, my girl, oh, it's my girl, we pee on Sei's idea! She was all, you like put this here? It would be like really cool. Like my Dude, she gave it to me a little Wow, it's really impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. That show's finished now, so she got them free. Right. Somebody probably saw something else and they just thought it was cool. But I'll keep selling summer adults until the truth sell. Says that I, as you are literally sweating. Okay. Hey, Nick Benches. Let's take a break. You can have a dog. I think not. Boy, you should try standing under freezing waffles sometime. One more time. Boy, please. Uh, can't get over samurai dogs. We just samurai dogs, no less. Hey man, we're gonna post our product the original first week. All you add world famous. About this steel sandwich it just doesn't work for you. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> so no sorry, Nick. Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These steel samurai fans are obviously
Koenig's pretty big. Yeah. Oh. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the bull shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. Get it. What happens if you sneeze, huh? Huh? Dreams, rip, rip your whole entire dreams. What? After 
I only have one phone to my name so far. Is it a good one? Meh. Break for a beat. Right. Wait, what? No. Get jammed this. I should I do it to your I don't know. How about doing a little question for me then? Uh that the gum shoe is scaring me, Nick. <sighs> I told Detective Gum Shoe about the deal with love. Nick Try telling him sooner next time. Er, sorry. Sorry for shouting. Okay. I just said the gumshoe will aid your search for Gordy. Huh? Oh. Alert. I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show it to you. It's our very best and brightest. This is the secret weapon number one. Missa. Missa? Oh. He's a K9 police dog still true. Missile! Missile here, boy! Oh, they had the dog missile. They had the dog part. There he is. Cute dog. This will help us. Ah. How dare you? How dare you? Phoenix, how dare you? If a dog is gonna help us in, in this case, then it's a really big help. Actually, 
You're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Okay. Next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by your choices. Secret weapon number three a metal detector. Here. Get the gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Hey! How are we supposed to find with it? How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? You never know! It might have been e soda cans. Uh, can't make up my mind, That whole scene is so perfect. Can't make up my mind. For totally opposite reason. single one I'm sorry Larry sorry sorry to pay my bills Nick <laughs> gonna have this yeah boy hey Larry In this case, I use a scan. Maya, maybe you should probably try a little bit of a Alright! Oh, not a problem. Well... Yeah. Hey, you see 
too happy. Sick of boy! Drink him sad. Yeah, make him. Good boy, I guess. As a dog, as a dog owner, we gotta cancel you. <laughs> Some jokes are fair left untold. Yeah, exactly. Okay, watch this. Try not to really attempt to cancel me. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. What? Ah, yeah, that, that. Sorry, Lola. Tell me y'all some of... Some of them come to pay for me. Nick, pay her. Lola, wait. We're catching court. Fishing pole? I thought I was gonna be a dog on mine. Thanks! Oh, 
That was Gordy. My. First of all, what is with the? Oh, why bar? First of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? Second of all, why would a man detective react to a sea monster? Why you gotta bring her down, Nick? Why you gotta bring her down? Gosh. There's something wrapped around this air tank. Looks like a string of flags? Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Oh, that's interesting. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I want to ask you about this tank. Have you seen this before? Uh, me? No, never. Who the heck would go dive in the middle of the winter? Something about the way his eyes switch when he's shown the tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Let's see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve. Just like the string of the flags around your steel samurai. Oh boy. It must be a coincidence. There are strings of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary school. And use car sale departments. Look. Why would I need a tank in? Play that teacher. Yeah, play what? What else? A big puppy steel samurai. Now why do you go asking me a question like that? Right, right. Actually, uh Tiny Boys are always used with all the crits. I try using the tank and play just once. It didn't go so well. Yeah. Can you be a little more specific? Come on. What is the previous scene? Sorry, we don't want to stop. Tuss, Tuss. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. They took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. Then.
We're getting somewhere. Oh! The bus is open and makes this incredible noise! Took off like a rocket. And it took my point to play this on Saturday with it. What? Oh, it took one lane? It scared me out of my court, that's for sure. Um, the tank is a samurai. Was the night of the murder? So I forgot to tell you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. You see, I went home before me. You didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. I saw one Miss Ridley. Miss Ridley? Maybe we should go tell her. Thanks a lot, Larry. So, sir, really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gory doesn't exist? Proof that Gory doesn't exist. Of course, I have proof. No lawyer's worth his badge will make claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gory doesn't exist. Bang. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto. I was thinking maybe streaming that or something. Right now. Take that! Yeah, take that! There's air tank? What y'all doing for an air tank? This is cool. Um, uh, excuse me? What exactly are you seeing there? There's a stand near a hot dog stand. There's a giant flavor samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happened to Try to fill it. He uses air tank. And when the valve blew, the tank blew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang with the The tank, along with the, s the still the place samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. Are you saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai?
ladies and gentlemen, Phoenix Ray, defense lawyer, and dream killer. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dream. I'm sorry, Lola. around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They say he's the caretaker of the old rental place up in the path here. Old rental? Is someone there? And he, he looks so deserted. This old guy living all by himself. You guys should go check it out. Hey, so We will. Take crack at me. Oh, hold on. Nothing else? Another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the leg. I figured it wouldn't be much use of evidence, so I kept it for myself. It might not be helpful, no, but here, take it. Secondary photo. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Loda. It's all Larry's fault. The legend, the legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Someone should whip that butts into shape. Go not examine. That's the map. Oh. Hey, what do you think of this fall, Larry? Okay, well. Okay, never mind. You're lucky to have a metal detector. If I have a dog, I'll attack you. Hey, Nick! This is the bullshit that Lola was talking about. Right. There doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Let's go check it out anyway. Oh, the caretaker shit. Oh, okay. Hey, that you? Hey, is that Keith with you? We have to be. I've been very sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think. Phoenix, she's. Phoenix, look at her age. What's wrong with you? Well, you made up your mind, have you? Hey, mine? Yeah, I'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? Remember, this is, remember, this game is in 2001, so... Any shops in Japan is not popular in America till now, so... Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Make your old man proud. You can't let the house I didn't know what I thought. I want to go to cute place running an old man like me. This guy says he has two wins. Lola was one. I mean, this guy thinks. No, oh, he's hiding something here. <coughs> Probably a 
here's a hole. A large bench? Yes, it is. I can't believe it. So, guys, the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. Huh? Yep, I got you figured out now. You're not, thief. Nick, that's a chance to clear things up. Um, sir. No, I'm not thief, and I'm not Meg either. Help us. Lord, huh? Please, mister? I'll help. But I'm one condition. What's that? This case is over and done. I can't make that promise. Is that a way to treat you, old man? What's with me the violence? Ah, you want my help? Call the wrong man. Okay, I promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Okay, I need to get this case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my ball. Good for you, Kate. Well, wait. I didn't just say... You too, Meg. Yes? Table looks warm. Great idea. We should do that at the office. You sit down with our client, nice, snug, and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're pipe. Or what the point of going 
Ugh. Just going and going fishing in your own backyard. Deep sea fishings are the best. My taste of chicken. Yeah, old man, you're wrong. Alright. As for that, I'm not gonna read dialogue. Nick? Huh? How do we have to keep up with all this in the family charade? I'm tempting, Maya. I'm tempting. Tell us about the bone rent shop. This is the bone rent shop, right? You're an idiot. No, no, you mentioned it. We haven't got me for the first game. Let me go rent a shop. Oh, God. 
God, I don't even. If he comes to trial like this, I. That's why I might as well cheat. You don't see today, darn if I understand. This isn't going anywhere. One man's a witness tomorrow, right? Which is bad. I'll find something to get information out. Polly, what's the number to the safe? What? Two, two, eight, right? Alright. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Hehe. <laughs> I'll take a little clever thinking. Wait, quick thing, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your. No, wait, don't move. Give me the safe. Wait, what? Calling your father. I'm... I'm not calling your father. I'm calling it. You know something about this? Yeah, the other night on the lake. Yes, yes. All about that. I seen it. What? Tell us. Tell us what you saw. I suppose. Taking over this. We're not, we're just gonna leave you. Okay, you already know what I'm pointing. You already know what 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 evidence I was about to choose. Uh, why? The Terry was just here. Harry. Yep, that kid named Zori. Time, Polly. Don't forget DL6. What? DL6 is it? Hey, Mister. I, I mean. Uh. 
No, I'm not. I'm still here. Old man! I'm not gonna use- No, I'm not gonna use the pistol. I'm gonna hit him with the metal detector if he doesn't wake up. What better probably know about DL6? I have to figure out who that old man is. Oh! What? He locked the door from the other side. Alright, old man, we're about to burn your house down. On my way. Oh no, Gumshoe's in the mood, isn't he? Oh, never mind. Hey, pal, no time to see. Yo, look so happy. What's wrong this time? Oh my god. I actually want to ask you something. Yeah? Is that a parrot? No man the bow rents shot there. Parrot knew about that instant. That instant? DL6. What? First, that he wasn't persuasive enough to say and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lola Hart yesterday. As for who he is, I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Not suspicious. That the gumshoe, please help us. We need to know about the DL6 incident. Edward's father. That's what Edward's father did. Now I think that he has something to do with this current case. Tell the truth. I don't know much about the DS6 either. It's Edward who made us to read the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? Sounds like you need information on the DL6 system. There is the station records room. I'll give you special permission to go and find what you need. Alright, when you go to Tactic Gumshoe. Okay, Nick, to the records room. I guess it's time we face the Edgeworth's pass. Amazing! Be dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find ideal six stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Ed were nine years old. And almost from the fourth grade on the seventh transfer. Nick, I 
found where the foul is. Oh, oh thanks. Just let me know. Just let me know what you want to know about the DS6 I'll go get the right file. Got any on the suspect in there? in the elevator with his father. Some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator. Survivors were unconscious. Survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edward's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. Miles Edward, one of the other passengers in the elevator. Yes, I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edward. Nick! I'm going to take the whole file? It's too much. We'll never get out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Right. So 
we all we all we're able to find. All this stuff is just awesome. I wonder how this brainless bolt shopkeeper will do testifying in court. We'll find out. Next time. Is actually gonna be it. So tomorrow we'll go back to trial. Find out what happened. And see if that oh I hit the mic. See if that old man will do anything. Will help us at all. Well we did it. Another day of investigating leading to the trial. So this tomorrow. It's time to bring back the DL6 incident. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Threads. So let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. Look at that. Thank you guys for watching and joining.